Hello friends, welcome to Neela Studio. In today's video, I'm going to show you the sleeve theories for sari blocks. I'm going to show you from 30 size chest to 48 inches chest, upper chest actually, not the full bust. I'm also giving you this chart which you can take the print out. Okay, so this is all the chest in inches. These are all the cap height which you need to take according to each size and then this is the biceps measurement this is armhole round measurements half armhole round measurements then the sleeve length sleeve hem so actually chest if you have 30 inches chest upper chest then the cap height will be around 2.75 and also the biceps is normally 5.75 when you take the measurement with the tape but if you are actually going to calculate this is biceps measurement biceps means this is only for making the pattern half of your round biceps measurement and this is armhole round measurements full armhole round measurement and this is half armhole round and this can vary person to another person even if they have 30 chest inches some people might have 14 armhole round or even 12.5 armhole round so for that you should see my earlier video on the depth of sleeve armhole round so according to that you can adjust i have taught how to adjust the armhole round measurement and this is the half armhole round this is the sleeve length for sleeve length is based on uh, you know the customer's uh, choice your choice or the customer's choice because if they want 9 inches sleeve length then you take 9 if they want 5 also you can take the sleeve length 5 inches if it is 3 4 sleeve length you can take the 3 4 sleeve length measurement sleeve hem is also based on the customer's choice and sometimes you know 30 chest will have a smaller sleeve round hem round okay and 32 will have not exactly 10 it can be like slightly more or if they want slightly tight then based on that these sleeve hem sleeve length is based on their choice okay and half armhole round is based on whatever the full round armhole and you take half of it biceps normally the biceps if it is 5.75 then the half armhole round will be about 6.5 it's about one inch different from biceps to round armhole half armhole round okay so i will show you for all these sizes one by one so that everybody can see their own measurements and then calculate and work out the sleeve pattern Let us see what you need to take the pattern for the sleeves. First, you need a chart paper like this. Okay. And then you need the measuring tape. You will need a measuring tape. You will need a scale. Then you will need a French curve. Then pattern master. If you don't have pattern master, you can use this French curve and shape the armhole curve. So now let's start the sleeve pattern for size 30 inches. Take a chart paper like this, which is on fold, which is on fold like this. Okay, it's on fold. So keep it like this and with the measuring tape, first measure the length of the sleeve you will need. For 30 inches, I'm going to show you the demo with the sleeve length of 9 inches. So I am going to mark 9 inches sleeve length. Here, this is your sleeve length. And half an inch for seam allowance, which I will mark here. So I have taken half an inch for seam allowance. Then I have taken the measure, uh, length of the blouse, 9 inches. Then you mark here for the hem to be folded for the sleeve 1 and 
5 inches okay so and then we will draw lines straight here this is for your sleeve hem this is for the fold So this is the length of the sleeve. This is half an inch for the seam allowance. Half an inch for seam allowance. Then this is for the hem fold. Now let us mark the cap height. Cap height for 30 chest is 2.75. So you have to take keep the tape from the top line. That is the seam allowance line. 2.75 mark here. Okay. and then you draw a straight line on the cap height line so this is actually the biceps line what is a bicep for 30 30 chest biceps is 5.75 so let's mark 5.75 here so this is where the biceps end. This is 5.75 is half of your round bicep. So, so the bicep is here. And then now you have to take the armhole round. Armhole round is 13 inches. So half of that is 6.5. See, see here, it will become 6.5 here exactly. So then you have to draw a line from this point to this point, straight line here. So this is your armhole round line. So next, take the midpoint of this 5.75. So the midpoint of 5.75 will be here, which is 2.3. So this is your midpoint. Take another half an inch and mark above. Okay, so here again from here also you have to take the midpoint of 2.75. So the midpoint of 2.75 is, is 1.3. So which is here. And then take another half an inch and mark here. Okay, now you draw a straight line here. Okay, and then draw another line here. The new the, the new point which we have marked above. Okay. Yeah. So now this is going to be the midpoint for the arm curve. So next see from this point and then we'll connect to this point and then here. Okay, you can use the, so this is the back armhole curved line. For this size, for 30 size, you can bring down half an inch down and mark here. And then you draw for the front armhole curve. Now you connect from here to here first. And then turn this this way. And connect here. Okay, now let's mark the hem point. For the hem of the sleeve is going to be 9. Okay, so for 9 means you'll have to mark 4.5. So let's mark 4.5 here. And then we'll connect the line here. Now mark the seam allowance here, which is 1.2. And you can connect this line also here. So this is for size 30 chest okay the sleeve is for 30 chest we have done this so let me cut this out and show you
Cut out the back armhole curve first. Open the chart like this and then cut out the front armhole curve. See, you have finally done for the 30 chest size. You have done the sleeve pattern. And this is going to be for the fold which you will hem later. Okay. So that will be here and then like this. So this is the pattern. We have taken the seam allowance here. So you don't have to add the seam allowance. You can stitch straight like this. Seam allowance is here also. So it's like, so this will fit perfectly for a 30 size chest. So for 30 size chest, uh, full armhole round is 13 inches. So half is 6.5. So we can check if you have got 6.5 inches. So just keep the tape here and see here measure like this and see you will get exactly 6.5 so this is how you take for size 30 so let me keep it aside and we will proceed with size 32 for size 32 let's let's uh, make the pattern for 32 chest inches sleeves okay so the length is 9.5 so first we will take the length and mark it here which is 9.5 inches length okay then you take half an inch above for seam allowance and here you take 1.5 inches for hem fold okay so once this is done then you have to take the cap height the cap height for 32 is 3 the cap height for 32 is 3 inches so let's mark 3 inches here okay from the topmost line this is the cap height cap height and the biceps line which will come here okay so let's draw the line for all So the biceps with biceps is 6 inches half half biceps is 6 inches so let's mark here 6 inches here and then the armhole round will be 7 inches see you this is exactly 7 inches that means your cap height is correct so we will now connect both these So next what we will do it we have to take the midpoint of this so the midpoint of 6 is 3 inches so let's mark 3 inches here and mark another half an inch on top here and on this side from the cap side also you will have to mark the midpoint 1.5 and mark another half point here and then you draw the line just like how we did last time here And this is the midpoint where we are going to connect the back armhole curve. But for this, the very important thing is this part, the sleeve point, midpoint, where we are going to attach to the shoulder of the sleeve. You have to take one fourth inch here. See, from here, this is the armhole one. So we have to take about one fourth inch inside and even here you have to take one fourth inch inside and mark here now you will connect this point to this point and then to this for the back armhole curve for this you can just take half an inch down and then shape it here 
then the sleeve hem is 10 inches so we'll have to mark 5 inches here and then let's connect these two then take seam allowance 1.2 inches here and 1.2 inches here so we are finished with the see here we have taken one fourth inch inside and then we will curve it so let me cut this see this is for the 32 size sleeve In my next video, I will show you the sleeve pattern for 34 and 36 size and thereafter I will continue with all the sizes first.